tēnā koutou, ko Leonard Foley Muru Painga Tōku Ingwa. Uh, I am originally from the far north and I have been living here in Whangarei for about 20 plus years now. Um, I came to Whangarei as an art student at Northern Polytech and I've been in the arts for that time as well. Uh, my connection with the schools, my two boys attended Morningside Primary School uh, since back in 2011 until last year, 2022. Kia ora. So uh, originally with the design I was um, approached by uh, Tom Clarkson, the principal of Morningside Primary School, and uh, the idea came about from a, from a teacher who was wanting to um, uh, to utilise the model uh, Te Whare Tapofa. <clears throat> now Te Whare Tapofa is one model of understanding in terms of Māori health, but now it's been adopted by all walks of life now. So for the design, uh, what was initially submitted was uh, a Whare Nui. Uh, so the whare, whare Nui is located on the Marae. And the reason why we, we uh, initially went for that is because we are talking about Te Whare Tapofa. But the way that, uh, that the, the design evolved was that we needed to make sure that these aspects needed to be all um, on an equal ground. So as you can see we have four dimensions here, uh, we'll start with uh, Te Taha Wairoa. Uh, the reason why I chose that design is because it is a stylized version of an owl or a kōruru. And usually when you look at a, at a whare, the, and when you look at the pole in the front, that top portion is called the kōruru. And with birds, birds uh, are able to travel in between dimensions as well from the physical to the spiritual hence why i chose that symbol cool so the, the second dimension that we have here is te taha whanau and the, the design here replicates uh, the nako the heart but it also represents the uh, the, the reto reto or the flax plant and so what we have here, we have the father, the mother and the child. And then you duplicate that, and then you have more which represents whānau or whānau. So the third dimension that we have here is te hiningaro, te taha hiningaro, which represents the mind. And the design here is based on two half spheres of a brain. As you look at these kuru inside, uh, they are connecting together but they are making new connections. The final dimension is uh, Te Taha Tinana. and now the colours that I've shown here is of uh, the toto or the blood and that symbol there also represents uh, uh, mankind. Too. So, um, and that just represents physical well-being. So just talking about other parts of the design, uh, so we do have the upper portion which uh, represents the amo of the marae. And down the bottom here, uh, that is representative of a vessel or waka uh, that's traversing through the ocean. 